The Lord Yah Bashem Al Shai is about to hide himself. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rachakwadash. Those are the true names of who the world in calls God and Christ. Peace and blessings to you, fellow brothers, pushing this word in truth, sincerity, as well as uh, double honors to the apostles, elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Uh, shalom to the 144,000. Shalom to the rest of the elect men, women and children that will be delivered in these last days. OK, and that will be calling on the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. And this is just a, a thought that just kind of came to me. And I'm, you know, strike while the iron is hot. I was just kind of meditating this morning, uh, doing some things. And um, the the. The voice, or you could say, or the, the thought came to my mind. Uh, the Lord is about to hide himself. You know, some precepts pop into mind. It's not going to be long. I'm going to just make this real quick. You know, and this is why it's very important for uh, brothers to seek to face uh, ancestors, but mainly with the men. Okay, to uh, seek after Yah Basham al with all your heart and all your mind. Okay, because we're, we're coming into a period. In which the Heavenly Father is going to hide himself. And if you are not, you know, under his protection. You're going to be left out there uh, for a whole host of evil spirits, spirits of vengeance that are going to be going um, to and fro. OK, and uh, judgments are increasing the, the severity of judgments, the, the, the gruesomeness of judgments. Uh, we know in Matthew 24, it says, because iniquity, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. That word cold there is psychos, which uh, means to be mentally unstable. So these people are mentally unstable. Uh, there was a video that the brother uh, sent the other day where a bug out e Esau, I believe it was in an airport or somewhere in some uh, business where he gouged his own eye out. And he was just bug bugging the hell out, you know. And, and, you know, he had to be on some type of drug. But Babylon is enough. That's that's the drug right there. That's the that's the uh, the drink. This is Isaiah 55 and six. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Right. Yahweh. OK. And his son, Yahweh Shai, they, they are able to be found through the mouths of the correct prophets. And ultimately, if you are of the elect, the most high is going to draw you to him. You're going to hear um, his voice. OK, my sheep hear my voice. So you're going to follow the, the correct doctrine. You're going to follow the correct leaders. And ultimately, you're going to be delivered. OK, the elect will get that concept of seeking the Lord now, not not putting not putting that off. OK, because that that day is going to come upon us uh, rapidly. It's already it's already building up. OK, we're not even at the end of the year. OK, we got a few more days to the end of the year and uh, World War Three is 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 gearing up. OK, cyber attacks. There's all type of cyber attacks that are happening. Iran, they suffered a cyber attack, which knocked down uh, the, uh, the majority of their petrol stations, I believe, 70 percent, 60 or 70 percent. So who, who did that? It had to be uh, Israel. So cyber attacks are being waged. All right. The the global elites, the wicked elites are already telling you that there's going to be a cyber attack uh, here in America. 2024, um, the presidential election, we might not even have that. You see how uh, Colorado and now California are trying to stop Trump from even being able to run. OK, in their states. So that's going to cause a lot more uh, uh, conflict. OK, uh, uh, looming civil war. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. OK, and the heavenly father is near. All right. Through through the prophet speaking through the these lessons going out, preparing you, getting you ready for that that evil day, getting you ready for that battle. OK, getting you ready for the hour of temptation, Jacob's trouble. Because that's literally what's upon us. OK, drones, AI technology, lockdowns, climate lockdowns, more uh, restrictions. 
uh, more draconian laws. Give me a second. Let me just sip some of this tea. Okay, a whole host of okay evil things. Well, the scriptures call it the evil day. Let me bring this out real quick. What uh, Ezra said, the prophet Ezra, because he saw this day, the Most High opened up his mind to let him see these days, as well as um, all the prophets, Jeremiah, Isaiah, okay, uh, Nahum, Malachi. Malachi said, there's going to come a day which shall burn like an oven. Okay. This is uh, 2 Ezra 16 and 17. Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death. We have a, uh, a looming housing crisis. You, we have a drug overdose crisis here in America, which kills over 100,000 people a year. 100,000 people a year are dying, over, uh, dying because of drug overdoses. Okay, that's not even including okay, people that die okay, or, or that are murdered. Um, in the in the in the trafficking of uh, the drugs. OK. It, it, what about the people that are murdered uh, by guns, mass shootings? You got mass shootings going on here in America. Uh, people ch uh, killing their children, children killing their parents, killing their grandparents. OK, Decap decapitating the heads of their mothers. You know, decapitating the heads of their babies, throwing their babies in the uh, drowning them and put them in. You know, it's, it's children over how many uh, a million children come up missing. I forget. I, forget, I believe it's upwards to uh, a million children come up missing in America. So many uh, hundreds of thousands of children come up missing tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands. Uh, I believe tens of thousands of children come up missing in amusement parks every year. OK, so what's going on with that? So you have that. OK, the Lord, he's going to take care of, you know, of our children. You have all scams, people getting scammed out of they out of their money. OK, uh, what's it called? What are they called? Identity theft that I've, I've been hit by identity theft a couple of times. You know, people, people uh, get in uh, uh, rental cars, they rent a car in your name. And then you get the bill. You got to go through the whole process. You know, go go, you know, write a uh, get a, a police report. The people are already on edge. Right. So Ezra, he was seeing this day. And this is before this is before the thermonuclear missiles. This is not even including. OK. Um, the threat of World War Three. Remember, that's going to be out in the that's going to be in the mist. OK, they're going to um, uh, invoke the draft again cons with a constrip conscription. And as the scriptures say, the mighty men of Babylon have forborn forborn to fight. So it's going to be, uh, you know, like um, Vietnam times 10, where you're going to have the younger generation that are going to be rioting and 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 protesting against the wars because America is being dragged into the wars. You're going to you have. A looming economic crisis happening. The beginning of famines and great death. See, the beginning of famine. All this is going to lead to uh, food and water being taken off, okay, of the streets. Okay. And that's going to lead to what? Great death. The beginning of war, see? And the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. And what shall I do when these evils shall come? See? And what we're going to do. As we're doing now is to rely on Yah Bashem Yah Shai. Okay, that's the. Uh, give me a second. That's the remedy. Bear with me. Let me just bring out. Yep, Hosea. Hosea. Hosea 5 and 15, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Right. Us Israelites. And guess what? The majority of our people are not going to acknowledge their offense. They're going to take the stands of 
a, um, a Charleston White, which I believe he's locked up now. He was talking all that big shit. Whether he gets out or not, if he if he gets out, he probably gonna have to take that deal. You know, he gonna probably have to sell out, take that deal. Okay, if he wants freedom. But he he basically said uh, he he not gonna worship no god that he he has to pay for things that happened two thousand years ago. You know, it's a punishment from two thousand years. Ago. You know, Jake Jake doesn't acknowledge their faults. OK, this is why we're here in America. This is why we were brought and, and put in this dire situation for us to acknowledge our faults, to to repent and to return back to Yah Bashem Yah Shai. Right. But we know the majority of our people are not going to do that. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. OK, the Lord is getting ready to hide himself. OK, hide himself from the two thirds. OK, and it says in Isaiah the 19 chapter how they're going to seek to to, you know, idols and, and, you know, wizards and familiar spirits, which our people are already doing, going into witchcraft. All, you know, I did a video the other day how a lot of our people are going into these dark arts. OK, to try to receive some type of power on the left hand side instead of uh, acknowledging their offense and coming back to the only power and seek my face. In their affliction, they will seek me early. See that? So when Jake is in a, a very dire situation, then they're going to seek after Yah Bashem Shai before a lot of them is going to be too late. The Most High is going, uh, he's going to hide himself in that day. All right? He's going to hide himself in the evil day. Let's bring out another scripture. We're going to wrap it up. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come not. As we read in Second Ezra 16, that evil day, Ezra, which Ezra, Ezra was told he he's pretty much the elect. And he said, what was me in that day? The beginning of uh, wars, the beginning of famines and great death. OK, the beginning of evils, the beginning of sorrows. Right. People are going to be invading one another. He saw that as well. He saw uh, uh, the, the total collapse anarchy here in America. OK, no, no, uh, uh, you know, no, um, no bread, meaning no food. People going house to house. Brothers fighting each other, killing each other, friends, friends that were friends, 20, 30, 40 years fighting each other. 10, 15 boys, you know, you know, tight, tight knit. Friendship, they're going to fight each other, they're going to kill each other over food. OK, there's going <clears> to <throat> be a famine, there's going to be great evils. OK, remember now the creator in the days of thy youth while the evil day come not, nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say I have no pleasure in them. While the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. And in in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. Right. That day is coming. OK. The keepers of the house, the economists. OK, people that tend to the government. Right. They're, they're going to be like, oh, it's, it's done. It's done. The stock market crash. Uh, crypto crash. Okay, Everything's going to be crashed, crashing out. You're going to lose your life. People going to go wild. There's going to be people out there that had something in this world and overnight it's gone and the government is not giving it back. They're going to go crazy. They're going to be willing to, to destroy. And the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders and the grinders cease because they are few. There's going to be no more jobs. OK. And those that you, you Jake's that put your job over the most high. Well, this, in that day, there will be no job. You're going to have to go on universal basic income. You're going to take the MOTB to get credits. Then what are you going to do? You're going to be seeking after the Heavenly Father. Because that's going to be the only choice or Esau. And you know how that's going to turn out. But the, the, the Most High is going to put a ripper based spirit on Jake in those days. They're going to take the MOTB. Which they already got a ripper based spirit on. OK. And in those days and in those that look out of the windows be darkened. 
and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. You see that? So everything is going to fail. Okay, everything's going to fail uh, here in America, all around the world. Okay, the hour of temptation, all these things are about getting ready to come upon the earth. Let me bring out one more scripture. Bear with me, give me a second. This is a uh, right Psalms 91 and one. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high because th the heavenly father is going to hide himself. But he's still going to be there. Right. But he's going to be within his elect men. That's why the scriptures say I shall make a man more precious than fine gold. OK, even a golden wedge of Ophir. That's Isaiah the, uh, the 13 chapter. Okay, one second. The Heavenly Father is still going to be there. Yet he's, his, his face is going to be hid. Well, that's why you have the family of the word. How they're going to go to and fro to seek after the Heavenly Father. Let's bring that out and then finish up here, actually. Just bear with me while I get this. Uh, Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, said the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. That's the Lord's face is the words of that. That's that's how you get close to him. That's how you're able to be uh, accepted by him is by hearing the words and being and, and, and repenting and transforming into his image. But there's going to be a day when. There will be no more of his words, okay? Esau's gonna have total control over the internet. He's gonna shut down the internet. And then when he brings it back online, he's gonna bring it back online with restrictions. Okay, you're gonna have to have a digital ID. Whatever he, you know, however he does it to where you, you're just not gonna be able to go on the internet and find videos. He's gonna scrub that. As well as he's gonna have excuse to where OK, there's no um, no assemblies, you, n no more than three people can meet up, you know, no more preaching on the corners. OK, and that day, hey, we we ain't going to say nothing. Because that's good. That's an evil day. OK. Let me read that again. Behold, the day the days come. So there's going to come a there's going to be a ex extended period. Of days, this is all. This is Jacob's trouble. Okay, Amos is seeing it. He all you you have the destruction, but you also you have the things that lead up into the destruction, and how terrible uh, those days are going to be. So Amos is seeing the famine of the word. Not a, he he said it's not going to be a famine of bread and water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And the scriptures say, when there is no vision, the people fail. Okay. Uh, I, I vaguely paraphrase that the, the, when there is no vision of people perish. Behold, the days come, said the Lord power that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst of water for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even to the east. And they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. See, in that day shall the fair virgins and the young men faint for verse. Uh, I'm sorry, slack it. And in that day shall the fair virgins and the young men faint for thirst. See, uh, thirst of hearing the truth, because truth is going to perish in that day. The, the, it's, it's not going to be. It's still going to be on the earth, but it's going to be in certain vessels. It's going to be in certain men. OK, and other men are not going to have that. They're going to be out there with no protection. Psalms 91. And we're going to close it. He that dwelleth in a secret place of the most high. Shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. He is He is my refuge and my fortress. 
My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that fleeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right, but it shall not come nigh thee. See that? Until next time, shalom.